What's going on guys? It's been a while since I did my last Scatter walkthrough and since then Scatter has made it a lot easier to set up your EOS account on Scatter. So in this one I'm just going to walk through it because over the last couple weeks I've walked people through it on a one by one basis spending hours and it can easily be done in five minutes and a video tutorial is the best way to do it. So starting off here we are on get-scatter.com, Scatter's official site. And what you're going to do is come to this site and go to download Chrome extension. Now you do need Chrome for this. You need to be using Chrome. So click on download Chrome extension. And the Chrome web store will pop up. Then all you do is come up here and click add to Chrome. Add extension. And it's doing its thing here. Adding Chrome extension. There we go. So now we have a scatter up here in the upper right hand corner of the Chrome web browser. So next is setting up the scatter. So click on scatter and at this point you will input a password for your scatter and cl click create new scatter unless you already have a scatter in which you can load from backup. But we're going to create a new one here. So simply put in a password and confirm that password. Click create new scatter. And here is the spot where you will write down your 12 word phrase for your scatter. So write those down. Uh, I'm going to be deleting this right afterwards since I already have scatter on my other Chrome browser. But write those down. Keep those in a safe spot so you can recover your scatter if you need to. Click I wrote those down when you're done. And here's the new feature. Once you get past writing down your 12 word phrase, they have a basic setup section. So this is the new feature that makes it really easy to set up your scatter here. So all you do is click start basic setup. And here, um, all you're going to do is input your private key, your active private key of your EOS account. So I'm, I simply like to make the name, the name of the account I'm attaching. So the EOS account I'm attaching here is HODL EOS voter just makes it easier for your own reference uh, to, to realize which private key you're putting in so now I'm gonna take the HODL EOS voter private key and plug it in here so let me grab my private key really quick and once you input your private key it automatically fills in your public key for you this is your active private key in some cases your active and your owner private key are the same when you only have one key pair but you can also have a key pair for your active and a key pair for your owner what you want is the active key here so then click import EOS key pair this is where you will select the account you want to use you want to use at active at active is what you want to use so click whatever your EOS accounts name is at active you selected account and you're done go to the main menu check it out identities this identity is now attached to the hodl eos voter at active key scatter is all set up and ready to use no more running through key pairs and then adding it into identity you don't need to do that anymore the scatter basic setup makes it real quick and you can see we were in and out of that in 30 seconds so really easy to set up scatter now and scatter is used to connect to all the dApps out there so if you do want to use any EOS dApps, Scatter is going to be what you're going to use. So I'll leave the link to getscatter.com in the description below. But other than that, if you got any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. But that's going to do it for me for this one. You can see it's super easy to set up Scatter now. So if you've been holding out on using Scatter because it was too hard to set up, they've made it super easy now. So definitely go check it out. Uh, anyone can do it. That's going to do it for me for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.